Hello, welcome back to the Trailer Park News here on the Second Street Marvel. It is Monday, June 24th, 2019. I am your host, Trinity, coming back at you with some movie news and comic previews. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have been paying attention to the box office uh, lately, but it seems like everybody and their mommy is box office professionals. There's been a lot of movies releasing this year at the movie theaters, and everybody seems to be calling them flops just because they're not making the kind of money that these movies are expected to make. Toy Story 4 didn't open up as good as people thought, so you know what? It's a flop. 118 million? Oh my god! That's terrible! I, I, I turned my nose up at that kind of money. <laughs> This is absolutely ridiculous. What's wrong with you people? Have you guys seen the kind of year we've had? There are so many movies that have been front-loaded at the beginning of this year, and people are already starting to say all these summer blockbusters are already flopping. Well, the thing is, for one, the summer's not over, but two, the year has been front-loaded. Look at how many geek and nerd culture movies have been released at this point in the year so far. Now, the one thing I've got to say is, you know what, most people do not go to the movie theater that often, let alone take their families to the movie theater that often. We've already had a whole bunch of movies that basically appeal to the same audience releasing in movie theaters. Big movies. I mean, just, just to throw a few out there, I mean, let's just take a look. We've got Captain Marvel, Shazam, uh, Hellboy, which was a flop. Sure it was. Um, <clears throat> we've got Avengers Endgame that just came out. We've got Toy Story, uh, Aladdin, just all these same kind of movies that are kind of a little more family driven and something that, you know, it's all kind of nerd and geek culture type of content. So of course, it starts to get expensive going to the movie theaters. I go to the movies a lot. Even myself haven't been to as many movies this year as I normally would have. So like I said, people are starting to pick and choose what movies they're going to go see. Now I'm sure you can go here on YouTube and find plenty of other channels that are going to fan spain away exactly what's going on here. As a matter of fact, you might even find a lot of them just going to different websites and clicking on their websites and reciting exactly what somebody else wrote on their opinions and then they're providing, you know, maybe a sentence or two of their own. If you're watching this kind of content, just stop. I mean, seriously. Is the person that you're watching here on YouTube a, a box office professional? Are they somebody you should be listening to? Hell no. I've seen plenty of these videos on my newsfeed. People flapping their gums about stuff they have absolutely no clue about just because they're fans or just because, you know, movies are coming out and they decide that they're not doing so good. That's not exactly how it is. I actually heard somebody the other week talking about Shaft being one of those get woke, go broke movies. Shaft. Have you ever seen Shaft? The TV show? The movie? Really? <laughs> Come on, man. It's not a social justice warrior type movie. They're not pushing in that kind of agenda. Oh, and then a couple of weeks later, you know, just like the very next week later, everybody's like, oh, we got to go see this movie. The social justice warriors are upset. <laughs> Come on, man. This wasn't a movie that was <laughs> Like, you either know what you're talking about or you don't. If you were actually going to really be doubting that Kenya Barris was going to make a terrible movie, maybe Tim Story, the director, yeah. But come on, guys. If you're going to go off and say one thing one week and say something the next week, you obviously have no clue what the hell you're talking about. You guys are calling these movies flops. They're not flops. They're just not making the kind of money that they were expected to make. And that is because the this whole first part of the year has been front loaded with big movies. You know, look at how many movies Disney has at the movie theater right now. Okay? These are the type of movies that people want to go see, but like I said, when there's so many of them, people are going to start making choices and picking and choosing what they want to go see. That's just the, I mean, that's just the simple truth of the, uh, uh, of the matter, okay? I mean, I'm not saying that that's necessarily the case with all of these. I mean, some of them are just bad movies. I mean, take a look like uh, at Men in Black International. Is this a movie that, you know, like a whole lot of people went out to go see? Obviously not. Was this movie made to be a blockbuster? I don't know. I mean, they spent some money on it, especially with some of the star power they have in it. But honestly, I can't ex say that they had to be expecting to make a whole lot of money with this movie. And just, you know, all these other things that are going on, all these people are going on and on about. You know what? Just, just calm down. Just calm down. I can guarantee you the person that's telling you these movies are flopping or that they're just not doing very good, they're probably full of it and don't know what the hell they're talking about. But to go on with all the other clickbait news, I'm sure you guys have seen me talking about it plenty here, is there's obviously all kinds of other, you know, credible sources out there who have gone the way of clickbait. A lot of people I've seen talking about this Robert Pattinson thing dropping out as Batman. Dude, read an article, not a headline, okay? 
Read an article. Robert Pattinson's not dropping out as Batman. It was another movie. Okay? Stop with the clickbaity stuff. And I've been, talked about this plenty on my uh, channel here before. Just stop with the clickbait stuff. Why? Why are you going to websites like comicbook.com and we got this covered and things like that to get your news? These people have no clue what the hell they're talking about. And before you argue with me saying like, oh, they get things right occasionally. Okay, they get things right occasionally. Occasionally an idiot is, is right about something, plain and simple. Idiots are right too. Idiots get lucky. They do. I, there's there's really no, nothing else to, to say about that. Sure, maybe some of these people like actually have people who actor go out there and actually interview people and maybe do get a scoop or something. Maybe they're occasionally right, but I'm telling you, these people, they're full of crap. <laughs> they don't know what the hell they're talking about, okay? So if you're wa reading any of these clickbait websites, just stop. Why do you want to bring these people attention? Like we've seen time after time after time, these people are just making articles. They're just writing fluff to get you to read their article. Just stop. Just stop following these sites. I, I, I beg of you. I beg of you. You know what? If you want to keep clicking on these clickbait sites, how about this? How about you just follow the link down in the description, go to my Patreon page and support me because as soon as I make enough money on my Patreon, I'm going to start my own website. And you know what? It's not going to be all this um, speculatory bull crap. I mean, I'm going to deliver you the best news that I can. Actual type of stuff. I'm not going to sit there and clickbait you with a bunch of bull crap like Robert Pattinson just drops out as Batman. That's, that's, that's just a bunch of crap. That's just a bunch of crap. Why are, are you guys following this stuff for? I bet you guys probably watch that other channel over here on YouTube where they do all that clickbaity stuff too, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway, in comic news, I'm not sure if you guys have been paying attention, but you know, if you guys like Spider-Man, don't worry, Marvel Comics has your back. In case you've seen my video the other day or any of the other videos here on YouTube where people are talking about it, Spider-Man currently has Five, no less than five current series running Peter Parker stories. And this are and these are main story Peter Parker lines. But as I was saying, don't worry, Marvel's got your back because this week they are releasing a new spider title authored by Ralph Macchio. Woo! Yeah, just what we need. Another Spider-Man title, Marvel. Thank you very much. You know, I'm actually looking forward to this. So then, you know, maybe next month you'll give me another uh, Spider-Man title. Oh, dang it, you're already doing it. Maybe I can wait another month or two to get another Spider-Man. Oh, no, you're doing that too. J.J. Abrams and his son are writing that issue. Yes. Man, what a time to be alive. We need seven different series of Spider-Man going on, don't we? I know we do. Come on. We need it. We need it. It doesn't get confusing reading these stories, does it? Does it? Yeah, I don't know. Who the hell am I? How would I know? Not like I read comic books or I've read any of these series and been confused as I'm sitting there reading them going... Wh which book was this again? It's really hard to say. Marvel. Slow down with the Spider-Man. We love Spider-Man, yes. But just slow down, bro. It's too much. It's too much. You're drunk. Go home. You're drunk. Let's take a seat. Call your Uber. Get home safe. Have a meal. Eat something before you go to sleep. You're gonna wake up with a hangover. Now in other news, I do have some comic book reviews getting ready to come out this week. I did get a chance to read that Neon Future issue number four, and I've gotta tell you guys, if you guys haven't been reading Neon Future, go out and pick that stuff up at your local comic book shop. Excellent series, I love that book. I'm excited every single time that I'm getting ready to get on and go to the comic book shop and pick up that book. It has been very excellent. Anyway, I think that's all I have for uh, the Trailer Park news today. I think I've flapped my gums about enough garbage. <laughs> really, because that's really what we're talking about right here. Garbage. Come on. Anyway, that's all I have for this video today, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the Trailer Park news today. As always, make sure you tune in on Wednesday for my comic book pull list. And make sure you tune on Friday for the Trailer Park Live. And if you've never been on the Trailer Park Live, it is a show I do every single Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where I typically go over some of the comic books that I pulled for the week. And then I get in and interact with all of the viewers there who make the show. You guys are who make that show. And we just kind of talk and laugh and joke about all kinds of different things going on in the news of movies, music, and just 
pretty much just anything pop culture, really. So you should show up for that. Again, it's the Trailer Park Live every single Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're not already, please make sure you're subscribed. Click the little bell so you get those notifications anytime I've uploaded new content. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, make sure you share it with a friend and invite them to come hang out here on the Second Street Marvel. That's all we've got for the Trailer Park News today. You all have a very good day. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you on Wednesday.